not a stereotypical theater score, it's bluegrass. So that's what makes it really smart. It feels like it could have been written last week. As soon as I heard the original cast album, I just thought, what is this show? Alex Timbers brought in this other level of magic to the show that you would never be able to get just from the page. Bluegrass music has a speed and an excitement and a theatricality to it. And so this score feels very unique, I think. And yet, in some ways, the score ticks all the boxes of like the storytelling conventions that one needs and loves in the traditional Broadway musical. We never would stay in here and lie in your face. That's exactly how it happened. What's a woman at your trace? This was done 40 years ago. That was sort of a gentle fairy tale. And this is 40 years later and there's thing, lots of things have changed. Really our approach was not to go in and say, this place is a mess, let's clean this thing up or let's reinvent the wheel. We, we sort of started out with this kind of fresh coat of paint approach to it. One of the things that the show delivered in a really exciting way was this sense of the experience of it being essential that the audience was there. And I think that what the album producers did so well was preserve that sense on the album of what it is like to hear and feel the show live. Feel the Style is Jamie Lockhart's first big song and it's like one of the great songs I've ever sung. It's really masculine and daring as performed by Steve. It's just an incredible thing to listen to. Everybody in the cast has an instrument in their hand and they're just singing their asses off. It's amazing. Oh, I guess it's just my face to always be first raised to outfox all their Every time it feels like a rock concert and we're just as backup singers and I feel like I'm in a music video. I love it so much. It could be a pop sensation, that's how good it is. It's like a real sort of rock star moment. My favorite song that I sing is Nothing Up. It's this song where Rosamond is out in the woods and she's just daring the universe to bring her a love. She's bored and she's lonely and by herself. When we started working on reorchestrating Nothing Up, we really loved the vibe. What we decided to do was really highlight a bass line because the original version has boom, jump, bump, bump. And what we wanted to do was give it a doom. Skin and hot in my clothes and Lord God knows it's cause there's nothing up. There's nothing up. There's nothing up. Come on. Come on. Deeper in the Woods is a song that's incredibly like sort of moody and evocative, particularly with these new orchestrations. I find Deeper in the Woods so magical and being on stage with everyone every night during that song was just, it felt just spiritual in a way. That was my favorite song, it still is. What I think is most special about this cast is that everybody is a quadruple threat. You've got great singers who are really gifted actors who are also very gifted comedians and then musically everyone's just an incredibly gifted singer and, and player on stage. It's become a real family. I mean the way we have interacted with each other on stage, we're so dependent on one another. It's a really special piece. I'm just blown away that I was asked to be a part of it. The joy that comes across in the group numbers that you're hearing on the album is one of like actual true joy. The cast recording took place a few days after the closing and so it was this great sort of reunion of a group of 
uh, actors who just loved working together for five months. Rare pickle pear, flower jam, rare beauty from smell to stem. If I pleasure would come up rich, if it wasn't for that lily bit. That's why she gets no rest. I conjured it. I was so excited when I found out that we were going to actually get to record this. I really wanted to do this live. I really wanted to capture the experience of the show. The experience of recording the cast album was wonderful. The ability to look at it afresh with modern technology, with this group of actors, and uh, in consultation with the composer Bob Waldman and with these like brand new orchestrations that are so vibrant and feel so like contemporary in a way, it was, it was extraordinarily exciting. This will be the version that lives on forever and ever, and I think it'll see a resurgence based on this album, and people will fall in love with it all over again or for the first time. And then hopefully people that will buy it and listen to it can feel like they were part of something special, which, you know, we're doing it for them. I'm very proud of it. Uh, it's not exact replica of the one forty-five years, but it's a beautiful, you know, honest album. It's a very wonderful version. We never would stand here and lie in your face. That's exactly how it happened. Once upon a